Hello everyone, I am Divya, your math facilitator. Today I am here to tell you a short trick to find the square of any number very easily. And most importantly in this video I am going to focus on the numbers below 100 and the numbers above 100 let me take up in one more session so that you can learn the trick very easily. Now this is not something new. The formula which you have already learned in your earlier classes we are going to apply here. Right? Because if you keep on multiplying the numbers, suppose if I ask you to find 65 square, so what do we generally do? We multiply 65 times 65. So multiplying this is a very lengthy process and also complicated. Okay, so for, for many students multiplication, they make a lot of mistakes in multiplication and at the end, they end up with the wrong answer. So to make it more simple for you, I have come up with this trick. This trick will be definitely useful for you. So I would suggest you to watch till the end of the video so that you will learn all the different models very easily. Okay, so let's begin the session. Now, before starting the session, let me tell you. So before learning the square of different numbers, let us firstly discuss what are the square of, squares of multiples of 10. For example, can anyone tell me what is 1 square? 1 square is 1. So, from 1 to 10, everyone knows. Right? So, so let us quickly recall. 1 square is 1. 2 square is 4. 3 square is 9. 4 square, 16. 5 square, come on, repeat after me. 25. 6 square, 36. 7 square, 49. 8 square, 64. 9 square, 81 and what is 10 square? 100, right? Now tell me what is 20 square? See, 2 square is 4. Let me write it here. Oh, 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 what happened? Something wrong. One second. So, we have written 2 square is 4. So, what is 20 square? See, 2 square is 4 and you have 20. So, you'll have 2 zeros here. Okay, the double of it. Right? Now, what is 30 square? 3 square is 9 and you have 2 zeros. What is 40 square? 4 square is 16 and again you'll have 2 zeros. 20, uh, 5 square, 5 square, 5 square, sorry, 50 square. 5 square is 25 and again you will have 2 zeros. What is 60 square? 6 square is 36, you will have 2 zeros. 70 square, did you all understand? So we are just taking 7 square as 49 and you will have 2 zeros. Now 80 square, 8 square is 64 and you will have 2 zeros. What is 90 square? 9 square is 81, again you will have 2 zeros. Right? And what is... 1000 square or what is 100 square? Yeah, what is 100 square? It is nothing but 10,000. Okay, 10 square is 100 and you will have two zeros again. Clear? See, 10 square is 100, you will have two zeros again. Similar pattern is you are able to follow. Right, now multiples of 10 is very easy. So, you are directly taking the 10th digit, okay? The digit in the left side you are considering and you are writing the square of the digit and adding two more zeros at the end, okay, to the right of your answer, right? For example, if you are taking 60 square, so 6 square is 36 and I am adding two more zeros to the right end. This is very simple. Now, what if, what if I ask you what is 18 square? How shall we proceed? So, for 18 square, can I write 18 as 10 plus 8? 18, I am writing it as 10 plus 8 and a whole square. Okay, 18, I am writing it as 10 plus 8 and I have a square, I have written it here. Now, can you see it is like A plus B whole square? It is like A plus B whole square. Now, what is A plus B whole square? It is nothing but A square plus B square plus 2AB. The same identity I am going to apply here and see how easy it is going to be. So, here... Firstly, I will write what is 10 square. Okay, what is 10 square? It is 100. Now, what is 8 square? It is 64. 
and then what is 10 into 8? 10 into 8 is 80. Okay, and what is 2 times 80? It is 160. You may feel, ma'am, this is so lengthy. Instead, I would have done 18 into 18. But beta, this is, here there are chances of making mistake. But here there are no chances. So, I'll tell you how. See here. So, what is the final answer? You'll simply add all this. So, you'll have 4, 12, 324. Now, if you multiply C by how much time will you do? Let's take one more example. It will be super simple for you. So, if I want to find 32 square, I'll simply write it as 30 plus 2 square, which means I'm writing it as multiple of 10 and a single digit. Okay. So, 30 plus 2 square. So, 30 square is 900 and 2 square is 4. So, 900 plus 4 is 904. So, I'm firstly squaring both the numbers okay 30 square 900 2 square 4 these are two simple things which you can do because here we have discussed also single digit square you can easily remember and multiple of 10 is nothing but see single digit square you will do and you will write two zeros so that was very easy right so 30 square is 900 plus 2 square is 4 so it is 9 not 4 so first step is done well now the second step See, for the second step, multiplication is super easy for you. Why is it easy? See, you have to do 30 into 2. 30 into 2 is like, firstly, just do 3 2s are. 3 2s are 6. And write a 0. Since you have a 0 here, write 0. So, super simple multiplication you have also. And again, you will just double it. Okay? 2 times of this is double it. So, you will have 120. As simple as that. So, 4, 2, 1, 0, 2, 4 is your 32 square. While explaining, I am taking a lot of time. But... If you practice just three or four questions, you can do it super quick. Now, the same 18 square, I'll, I'll do it in this method. See here, 18 square, it is 10 plus 8 whole square. You'll do it in your mind. So, 10 square is 100, 8 square is 64. 100 plus 64, very easy, 164, right? Addition is also very easy. And by doing this mental calculation, your, your brain concentration levels increases, right? So, always try this method. It's really helpful for your brain as well as it saves a lot of time and your mental ability will increase a lot a lot a lot trust me right so firstly what did i do i have done 10 square is 100 8 square is 64 add both of them it is 164 okay now what is 10 into 8 10 8 is 80 super simple 80 double of 80 80 double is 160 8 2s is how much better? 80 double is nothing but 80 into 2. 8 2s is 16 and you have a 0. Okay, 80 double is 160. As simple as that. Now just add 160 to this. So you get 324. Got it? So this is the trick. And there are few, few more problems which I will tell you. Okay, few more numbers we shall take and let's make it even more simpler. Okay. So before taking more questions, let me tell you about an academy emerge. It's a free test. Okay, for the first time, an academy is the very first, first platform which is conducting free tests for all of you to prepare well for your term one examination. So, all you need to do is enroll for the test. And I'll tell you the benefits of this test. So, it's a live mock test which we are going to conduct every week and the schedule also I'll, I'll show now. So, it is aligned with the latest CBSE guidelines. So, as you have your sample paper, the same mock test you will have okay the same pattern of test you will have section a b c so it will be very useful for you and toppers will be featured in an academy social media platforms and also you'll get your detailed performance report so that you will know in which chapters you are weak or in which concept you are weak and you can prepare accordingly and you'll have top video solutions by the top educator and this is also completely free no charges and you will get an all india rank and most importantly, if there is any student who is preparing for triple IT or policy at entrance examination also, this test is going to help you a lot. You can start your preparation right now because just learning your classroom will not help you. You will have to have a lot of practice of MCQs, multiple choice questions. So, this test will definitely help you. So, how will you enroll for the test and what is the time limit? See, 90 minute test it is. Okay, it's a MCQ based questions and it is according to CBSE guidelines. So, it is also helpful for your, all your competitive level examinations also as well as your board exams. And class 10 schedule is science, 18, uh, science and max you will have. Okay, just give me one second.
Okay. So have a look here. So science and max you will have every Saturday and Sunday. So here is the schedule for this week. 9th October Saturday you will have science for class 10 and 10th October Sunday you will have max for class 10. And similarly for class 12 and class 12 commerce and class 12 science also we have the dates here. So you can share it with them also your seniors and the timings are 5 to 6 30 pm. You can enroll for free for this test and the code you will use. The code to use is DMM. You can use this code DMM to enroll for free. So please do share this with all your friends and also with your seniors of class 12. Right? Don't forget to give the test. There are a lot of lot of benefits of giving this test. Okay? So link is given in the description box. Don't forget to enroll code is DMM. Chalo, let me proceed now. So I hope now the trick is very clear for you and let's discuss what is 27 square. What is 27 square? So 27 square I can write as 20 plus 7 whole square. 20 square is 400. 2 square is 4. 20 square is 400. 7 square is 49. 400 plus 49, 449. So that is the first step. 449. Now 20 into 7 is 140. Right? 20 into 7 is 140. 140 double 140. How much will you get? So you will get 280. Just write it here and add. How much are you getting? 729. Now, as you can see, this method will help you to reduce your mistakes. Okay, if you are multiplying, definitely you will make some mistake. If you are doing this, you will not make any mistake. And moreover, as I told you earlier, you will have a lot of benefits. Now, let us take 65 square. It is 60 plus 5 whole square. So, it is nothing but 60 square is 3600. 5 square is 25. So, adding both of them, it is 3625. So simple. Now, 60 into 5, 6 5s are 30, okay, 6 5s are 30 and 60 into 5 is 300, one more zero you are adding. Now, double of 300 is 600, so 5, 2, 12, 4, 2, 2, 5, did you get it? Now, the next one, let's take one more example, 83 square, 83 I can write as 80 plus 3 whole square, so 80 square is 6400, 6400 plus 3 square is 9. So, 6400 plus 9 is 6409. Right? And now, 80 into 3. 8, 3 is a 24 and I have a 0. So, 240. Double of 240 is nothing but 0. Multiply this with 2. So, you will have 480. Just add 480 here. So, 9886. 6889. Isn't it easy? Now, let me take one more number. 94 square. It is 90 plus 4 whole square. So, 90 square is nothing but 8100. Okay, 8100. And 4 square is 16. So, adding you will have 8116. Clear? Now, 90 into 4. 9 4 is a 36. You have a 0. Now, 36 into 2. 36 into 2 is 72. And you have 360 into 2 is 720. Isn't it? 360 into 2 is 720. So, let me write it here. Okay, so adding, this is what you get, 8, 8, 3, this is 6. Okay, so isn't it simple? Isn't it simple? And as you have observed, I have used only one single formula, A plus B whole square. I did not use A minus B whole square formula because again, subtraction, few students make mistakes. So if you are using A minus B whole square, for example, 18 square, you can also write it as 20 minus 2 whole square. 18, I can write as 20 minus 2. Now 20 square is 400. So A plus B whole square formula, I relate. A minus B whole square, it is A square plus B square minus 2AB. So the first step is same. You will square the first number, you will square the second number, add both of it. It is same. But the second step, after finding 2AB, you will have to subtract. So, let's do it here and check. 20 square is 400, 2 square is 4. So, 400 plus 4 is 4, not 4. And minus 2AB, so 2AB, 20 into 2 is 40, 40 double is 80. So, you will have to subtract 80. Now, when you are doing this, some students may face difficulty in subtraction. Okay, so that is the reason I am not taking this method. I am only directly concentrating on the first method. Okay, so numbers which are closer to tens, like see 27, I can write it as 30 minus 3, which gives me 27. So here also I can write as 930 square is 900 plus 3 square is 9. So it is 9, not 9. And again, 30 into 3 is 60 and 60 into 2 is 120. So here doubling becomes easy for you. 
okay instead of uh, this here doubling becomes easy for example 30 into 3 one second 30 30 into 3 gives you how much beta this is 90 and 90 into 2 here we get a 180 here one second okay so doubling becomes easy here 30 into 3 is nothing but 90 92 is a 180 and now subtraction see so here borrowing you should be a little careful while you're subtracting right we are making the trick easy so that we don't make any mistake it should be error free so that is the reason i have chosen this method but if you feel this is also easy you can go by this method too right so i'll give you a few diy questions and i want all of you to try it do it yourself question so once you learn the trick it is always suggestible to do few questions by yourself only then the concept will be clear for you right so please do these questions just after the video pause the video do these questions and once you get your answers do mention your answers in the comment section right let me give you the questions so it is 39 square 45 square 63 square 87 square and 93 square please do these questions by yourself and do mention the answers in the comment section and also give this video hit hit the like button very hardly okay give at least one 1k likes here okay so that i'll bring more and more short tricks for you okay so and next i'm planning square root short trick which is which is really important for you so 1k likes is your target 1000 likes Chalo then I'll see you all in the next class. Thank you so much for being here. Subscribe the channel for more tricks and more concepts and classes. Like the video as I told you minimum 1000 likes for this video. Then you'll get your square root short trick. And do share the session with all your friends so that everyone can benefit. And comment your DIY answers and also comment and let me know how did you like the session. Thank you so much for being here. Bye bye. Take care.